YouTube. Today we're going to continue with the Black Widow build. In the last video we put the transmission and engine on the transmission skid plate. Today we're going to add the four links to this skid plate. Now, we have skip or four links. These four links here are 112 millimeters. But as you can see, two of them are a little bit longer than the others. As a matter of fact, these two, this one here, is actually the same size as this one. But these are longer than 112 millimeters. And I did a mock-up before we started this and found out that I needed to put two little spacers in my drive shaft or I, my four links to keep my drive shafts or my axles at the right tilt that I need for the Black Widow. So we put these two little spacers in here. These little spacers these little spacers are nothing more than little nylon nuts that actually fit the threads of these ends, tie rod ends, or not tie rod, link ends. Just screw those on there. They lock in place. And then we put the tube back on. Okay, that lengthens those tie rod ends to set the axle at the right canter or tilt per se. Okay? Now, what tie rod ends go where? Good question. What you need to do is determine how you want your wheelbase. And my mind the wheelbase is shorter from the or the shorter lengths will go in the back of the rock boxer. The longer lengths, which are 122 millimeters, as you can see, are going to go on the front. I also had to space, put spacers in two of the lengths here because they also were too short. All right. All right, we're going to start with the rear links. Again, the rear links are the shorter of the links. We have two of them that have kind of a curved end on them. Those are going to be connected to the top part of the axle on the link bracket. So we will put them in in this order. The top link will go in the outside connection area. And then the outside links or the links that go down to the axles where the shocks connect will go on the inside connectors here. Okay, so we go here. So let's put this first one in. Again, you'll have to excuse the sniffles. March in Louisiana is crazy when it comes to pollen, and I have some terrible allergies. Okay. Okay, so that's the outer link, which goes to the top of the 
axle. Try not to go too far with those electric drill when you're using that to tighten up your screws. Because you can go pretty crazy. All right, now the interlinks, they are going to go to the axles where the shocks will also connect. So we'll put those on. It's a very simple process. As you notice there's already screws here I already dug through my screws got the correct length screws and all that before we started doing this I didn't think you all would want to watch me digging through a screw container trying to figure out which screws need to go on here as a matter of fact I've pretty much mocked up this whole system for this truck black widow rock bouncer ahead of time so that the time that we use to put this together is used wisely rather than me trying to figure out what's got to go where. I did spend about six hours of time, actual time, mocking up this rock bouncer. I mean, there's not a whole lot of parts to it, but it did take some time because all the parts that I bought all came pre-assembled which makes life real easy. Yeah, I tore them apart and greased them, checked all the bolts and nuts, looked on the inside of the transmission, looked on the inside of the axles. And if you want to see those, I will put up videos of each of those go-throughs of the axles, the transmission, how I filled the shocks and all that stuff in a separate video. But this video here, we're just going to talk about putting on the links and then mounting it into the chassis. Now for the rear links or front links I should say I already did the rear links. We have the longer links. Same process we're putting the ones with the bent end it will go to the top of the axle underneath the servo mount I find these little lock nuts to be the worst thing in the world to get started. I don't know if it's just me or what. And of course I say that and the first one starts quite easily. Again, you cannot hold those with your fingers. So you actually have to use a socket to hold those or a pair of pliers, whichever you have. A socket works pretty good. Hold them in place. so that you can tighten them up. Get 
that out there so I can see the threads. So I know when I get this thing tight, I don't want to over tighten it. Now on the other side, I kept that screw out because it was such a pain in the butt to get in with the motor in the way. So we will This one is in a very curious place. Makes it so difficult with that motor on there. And there goes that little lock nut. I'm telling you, I do not like those little lock nuts. They are the hardest thing for me to get on or get started. If anybody has any suggestions on how to do this in a different way, I'm all ears. Oop, there we go. Okay, on this one I'm going to be using, I got these miniature tools that I actually bought for my grandson when he was younger. And they came in real handy now when he started working on RCs. But now it's big old pieces of tools and metal in your way. There's that little lock nut. Okay, so we'll hold this with this tool and there goes one of those little lock nuts on the floor. It's going to stay there. Okay, those are in place. Uh, the other two. You have to admit, Axial and Hot Racing makes very good parts. They fit so good. No finagling, no nothing. Guess that's why you pay the big bucks for them. Okay, so now we have the links. And we're going with four links all the way around on the skid plate or transmission skid plate whichever you want to call it and now all we do is put it in the chassis as you can see there's not a whole lot to building this rock bouncer the longest part the hardest part was figuring out the geometry for the four lengths the axles and then getting the parts. I've been working on this for about six months, getting all these parts put together, all this geometry figured out, all of this kind of theme for the Black Widow, black and red, and then ordering and finding the parts. You can do it. 
It just takes lots of time and lots of searching on the internet. But the good source, in my opinion, is eBay. I got most of this off of eBay. If you do a lot of research and you do a lot of checking, you can find a lot of these parts a little bit cheaper from somebody other than different people. Some people have very good prices, some people have some terrible prices, but just keep looking. So if you look hard enough on the internet and on the eBay, sometimes you gotta check Amazon too. Amazon, Amazon too because they have some decent prices and if you need something in a hurry and you got that prime thing you can get those two-day shipping okay so all the parts that I got for this um, Black Widow Rock Bouncer RC cost me about 500 bucks now I'm going to have in the video where I did the parts, we will have a parts list and the cost of each part that I bought for the RC. Okay, so again, time consuming, but you can save yourself some money. I mean, you can spend a lot of money on this hobby. I tried to make this with good parts, what I consider good parts, we'll find out once we drive it, and for a good price. All right? Okay, so now let's put the skid plate into the chassis, or the links and the motor and everything, into the chassis. Now, intricacy and axial, axial, makes good parts but Entity seems to make very good parts too. This chassis is well built. It's got good welds, clean welds, good tubing, not cheap, not very expensive, only 32 bucks. I've seen it as well high as 60 bucks but they did a good job of making it fit the SCX10 parts or the 10th scale stuff. Four screws be holding this chest or this skid place and <laughs> skid plate in place. Say that a hundred times. Skid plate in place. Not too bad for the screws holding the skid plate into the chassis. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Everything fits nice. The four links all look good. I think this is where we're going to take a break. In the next video, we'll get the axles and the shocks put on. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it doesn't take much more than that to put it together. Get the axles and the shocks put on and then the next video and then we will work on the electronics all right YouTube that's good for today hope you like the video have a good day stay out of trouble and we'll talk to you later the black widow looking good